Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. It's privacy coin time, and there's three privacy coins that I really like that I'm gonna be doing tutorials for over the next two or so weeks, and Pirate Chain is one of those three. So today's short video will be showing you how to set up and access your Pirate Chain Light Wallet, how to receive tokens, and then how to send them out to an additional wallet or exchange. And in the future, I'll be doing additional videos showing you how to set up treasure chest, which is a full node on your computer. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, as I see a ton of new viewers who currently aren't subscribed to the channel. If you do, I'd really appreciate it as it helps the channel grow. All right, so I'm currently on the Pirate Chain website, which I will post in the description down below of this video. And once we're on the website, we can just head on over to wallets and then we can choose Light Wallet. And then this will bring us to the Light Wallet section and then we can just scroll on down here and we can download the wallet for whichever operating system we are currently using. Now, once you've downloaded the file, we can minimize our browser here for the time being and we can extract that file. And now we have access to the Pirate Light Wallet. I'm just gonna double click on this file here and open the wallet. And now it's gonna ask you to create a new wallet. So what we're gonna do here is just create a wallet, hit next. And then this next section here will be showing you your private key. Now this privacy key is obviously important. If you were to lose your laptop or something were to happen to your computer and you never had this private key written down, you would lose access to your funds. So what this is, is basically a backup a safety net for you. And what I would do is I'd make sure that I write this down, possibly in multiple locations, uh, multiple times that way you do have multiple copies, but I would never take a picture of it or store it in any digital form on your computer for security reasons. So at this point, what you're gonna to wanna to do is write down this privacy key. And once that is done, you can move on to finish. Okay, now we've finished writing down our private key and storing it away for safety. And now what's gonna happen is the Pirate Chain blockchain is going to totally sync on our computer. Once this is done and we've reached the most recent block on the blockchain, you will have access to your wallet where you can then set up your password. Okay, so the Pirate Chain blockchain is completely synced onto my PC right now. And then what I'm gonna do next here is head on over to edit and I'm gonna choose to encrypt my wallet. That way I need a password to send funds or access my wallet. So I'm just gonna hit encrypt. And I'm gonna type in a password. And once it's done, I'm just gonna choose okay. And now you'll see that I successfully encrypted my Pirate Chain Light Wallet. So now at this point, I'm going to receive some ARRR or R coins. I had to do that. All right, so now at this point, I'm gonna just copy my address, head on over to Trade Ogre, and I'm gonna send some tokens to my Pirate Chain Light Wallet. Okay, so now I'm on Trade Ogre. I have a small amount of ARRR coins and I'm going to withdraw these to my Light Wallet. So I'm just gonna choose maximum balance here and then I'm gonna paste in my address. And now once I've put my address in, I'm just gonna hit withdraw and then I'm gonna enter my authenticator code. And now the transaction is currently pending. Withdraw on Trade Ogre and we can head back on over to our Pirate Chain Light Wallet. Okay, we're back on our Pirate Chain Light Wallet and the 30R have arrived into my account. And now if you want, we can just close this wallet and that's where our coins will be. One thing to note, if you go to the receive section here, you can also export your private key here if for some reason you need to copy it down. Now, if you wanna take our coins and send them back to a different address, we can do one or two things. One, we can just paste in the address here, the amount and then hit send. If we want, we can also set up an address in our address book. That way we can send to this address multiple times if it's an address we're gonna be using more than once. Uh, for today, I'm just gonna paste this address in here and then I'm gonna choose the amount that I wanna send. I'm gonna hit max available here and then I'm gonna hit send. It's gonna ask me to confirm my transaction. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna type in my password and then I'll hit okay. And now it's computing my transaction through the wallet and my coins have been sent back to the address that I wanted to send them to. And that's it for today's short demo on showing you how to set up and send and receive tokens using the Pirate Chain Light Wallet. I will be doing an additional video down the road showing you how to set up a full node using the Pirate Chain Treasure Chest. If you guys are enjoying the content you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks and take care.